In this section, we're going to learn about what we call variable costing and to how, to, we're going to, how to prepare a contribution margin income statement. You're going to use a contribution margin income statement for several chapters going forward, so be sure to know how to, how to prepare a contribution margin income statement. Let's take a look at what's absorption costing. Absorption costing is simply the type of accounting that's required by GAAP for external reporting. It is where we assign all our manufacturing costs to products. Um, we have direct material, direct labor, variable, and fixed manufacturing overhead costs are all assigned to products. We did that in uh, job costing and process costing. That is because uh, GAP tells us we have to assign all these costs to calculate the cost of our inventory. They become inventoryable product costs. And that is the method that we use in our traditional um, or conventional income statement. This is the type of income statement we covered earlier during the semester and what you'd have seen in Accounting 1. The traditional income statement starts off with sales. You subtract your cost of goods sold to come with your gross profit. From gross profit, you subtract your other expenses and you end up with your um, operating income or your net income. Now let's take a look at what we do. Uh, we would do under variable costing. Under variable costing, we assign only variable manufacturing overhead cost to product. So you would separate your variable and fixed manufacturing overhead. Direct materials and direct labor are all considered variable because they vary with the uh, volume of production. But you also split up your manufacturing overhead into variable and fixed components you assign variable manufacturing overhead to product cost. However, fixed manufacturing overhead is treated as a period cost. So whenever you have fixed, you split them apart and fixed manufacturing overhead is treated as period cost. What you need to remember is that variable costing is only done internally for internal management decisions. This information is never shared outside the organization um, because external reporting requires absorption costing, the traditional income statements. So remember, variable costing is only for internal management decisions. When we're performing variable costing, we prepare what we call a contribution margin income statement. And let's take a look at that next. When we prepare a contribution margin income statement, we start off with sales and then we subtract our variable costs. So sales minus variable costs is called contribution margin. From, con from our contribution margin, we subtract our fixed costs, and then that gives us our operating income. So the contribution margin income statement is sales minus variable costs, which gives us our, what we call our contribution margin. Once you subtract fixed costs from your contribution margin, it gives you your operating income. So here are your two different income statements side by side. On the left hand side you have your traditional income statement and on your right hand side you have your contribution margin income statement. What you need to know is that the sales numbers are the same for both income statements. Also your operating income number is the same for both income statements. However, What's in the middle is what changes. So um, the how you get at operating income is what's different between the two methods. Um, I do have to mention uh, that it's not always going to be the same. So if you are an accounting major and you're going to go and do managerial accounting or cost accounting at a higher um, class, you need to know that these two operating incomes are only same if your uh, if you've sold everything that you manufactured. So if you have ending inventory, so your manufacturing cost of goods manufactured is different from your cost of goods sold, uh, you're going to have to do a reconciliation. That's above and beyond what we're required to do in class here. So for the purpose of this class, we're going to say that our operating incomes are the same. Be sure to be very familiar with your contribution margin income statement because we will be using that a lot in the next few chapters.